What's going on, everybody? I hope all is well. Jeff Randall here, and today we are kicking off a brand new year of videos by tackling one of the most common questions that I get from you guys. How do I improve my groove? And to be honest, that's an intimidating question to answer because there are just so many skills that come into play. And I think because it's such a tricky topic to teach, it's been largely undercovered on YouTube. But I wanna remedy that this year. So I've taken all the things that I've learned about groove over the past 15 years of gigging and touring and studying this instrument and boiled it all down to five skills that all great groove drummers have. And today we're gonna breeze through each one of these skills and talk a bit about their individual roles in creating a solid groove. And going forward into 2021, we're gonna be unpacking these skills in fun and creative ways so we can all level up our playing and bring more pocket and soul into the drumming community. All right, the first skill that all great groove drummers have is good technique. Take for instance the infamous James Brown funky drummer beat that became the world's most sampled drum break. This is a groove that lives or dies by those fast 16th notes on the hi-hats. And that hi-hat pattern is totally dependent on having good hand technique. If you've got the right techniques worked out, then this groove is gonna feel effortless. And if you don't, you're gonna be constantly struggling to make beats like this feel good. Now think about a groove like the one from Immigrant Song by Led Zeppelin. This groove, on the other hand, lives or dies by those fast singles and doubles on the bass drum. If you don't have solid foot technique, then you're gonna burn out within a minute of playing this song. However, if you've put the time into those fundamental foot techniques, then this song's gonna be a breeze. All right, the second skill that all great groove drummers have is independence. Take for instance, the standard blues shuffle. This is a groove that you absolutely have to master if you wanna go out and play your local top 40 band gig. With a shuffle, you have all four limbs playing at the exact same time, and they all have to be in harmony with each other or the whole thing's gonna fall apart. So it's absolutely critical to be challenging yourself with different independence exercises so you're staying loose on the kit and grooves like this don't trip you up. All right guys, we're chugging right along. The third skill that all great groove drummers have is time. I'm sure all of you guys were anticipating this one. I mean, this is what drumming's all about, right? But I'm always surprised to hear how little most drummers practice improving their time keeping. Of course, we all know that it's important to play with a metronome, but but if all you're doing is turning the metronome on and turning your brain off, you might actually be training yourself to become dependent on the metronome for playing in time. So instead of depending on the metronome, it's important to challenge yourself with different timekeeping exercises. For example, try to play with the metronome on the off beats instead of the down beats and see how well you can keep things locked in. This simple shift changes the way you interact with the click. Instead of dictating the time, the metronome becomes more a part of the groove, like a cowbell or a percussion instrument. So you're more playing with it than you are playing on on it. All right, the fourth skill that all great groove drummers have is feel. One of the most important skills having to do with feel is being able to play a groove either straight or swung. Without getting too technical, the straight groove has what are called duplet subdivisions, which are divided evenly, giving the groove a nice steady pulse. The swung groove, however, has triplet subdivisions, which alternate between a long note and a short note, giving the groove its distinctive gallop feel. Each of these feels are used all the time in music across all kinds of genres, so it's really important to be able to alternate between the two with ease. All right, guys, we are at the fifth and final skill that all great groove drummers have, and that skill is taste. Think about the world's best groove drummers. Most of them, you can tell, are big music lovers. They've spent years listening to albums and studying the greats that came before them. And as a result, they have a huge vocabulary of musical ideas and instincts, and they know what works when. And that's hugely important because a lot of what separates drummers that groove from drummers that don't has to do with the second-by-second, minute-by-minute choices that they're making as they play. And by 
listening to and analyzing those great groove drummers, you're subconsciously training yourself to make the right choices as well. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'm really looking forward to unpacking these ideas with you further this year. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I will see you guys next time. You take it easy. Bye-bye.